Solving a Problem, Topic Magnetic Field by Madam Rosemeyer. Question 1. An electron is accelerated through a potential difference of 1.0 kV and directed into a region between two parallel plates separated by 20 mm with a potential difference of 100 V between them. The electron is moving perpendicular to the electric field of the plates when it enters the region between the plates. What uniform magnetic field applied perpendicular to both the electron path and the electric field will allow the electron to travel in a straight line? Okay, first of all, we need to draw the diagram. Okay, when electron is accelerated through a potential difference of 1 uh, kV, so the potential difference across cathode and anode here is 1.0 kV. And then uh, the electron is directed into a region between the two parallel plates, okay, separated by the distance 20 mm, and the potential difference between the plates is 100 volt. Then the electron uh, moves perpendicularly to the electric field of the plates. The direction of electric field is uh, from the positive plate to the negative plate. So it will follow the projectile path because the electron is attracted to the positive plate. So the direction of electric force is upward. Okay, now we are going to find the magnetic field. Uh, for the electron uh, to move in a straight line, so the magnetic force must be acted downward so that uh, it balance the electric force so when they are balanced then only the electron will travel in a straight line okay, using this equation electric force equals to magnetic force substituting the formula which is uh, electric field uh, electric force is equals to the e times e electric field uh, equals to FB. FB is magnetic force equals to EBB. V is the velocity of the electron and V is the magnetic field which we are going to find. Cancel out E and we arrange the equation become B equals to E per V. Next, find E using formula E equals to V per D. Substitute 100 volt and 20 millimeter convert to meter in the equation. So we get 5 times 10 to the power of 3 volts per meter. Next, we are going to find a speed of the electron. So we use principle of conservation of energy. The supply energy is E times uh, the voltage, yeah, potential difference across the cathode and anode here. And, uh, and it is converted into the kinetic energy. So equals to half mv squared. To find V, so V equals to square root of 2E V per uh, m. So substitute E. Uh, charge of electron 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulomb then the voltage across the cathode and anode here is 1 kV okay next the mass of electron is 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 the answer is 1.874 times 10 to the power of 7 meter per second so we substitute into here the equation B equals to E per V. So the answer is 2.67 times 10 to the power of negative 4 Tesla. Okay, next we are going to determine the direction of the magnetic field. So we use Fleming's left hand rule. So put your hand in the position like this, your left hand, where uh, v eh, is to the left 
uh, for the electron. Okay. So the electron uh, move to the right, but uh, using Fermi's left hand rule, so you must uh, point the uh, V to the left, opposite okay, of the direction of electron. Next, F, FB, magnetic force is downward okay, to balance uh, electric field upward. So, must show your thumb uh, downward. And lastly, to determine B, your forefinger, the direction of your forefinger is into the screen. So, therefore, the cross uh, mark around, uh, in the area here shows uh, the direction of the B is into the screen. So, this is the answer. The end.